me the reason behind the tangle the entanglement of his weave and they learned that he was a original uh, or had an original bloodline yep it's gonna be one of those nights isn't it buddy <laughs> um so uh, and then Valinor did something that I don't remember. You did sit-ups on top of Karn's back while Karn did push-ups. Right. You guys worked out. I think that's all um, he really did. Yeah, that sounds about right, honestly. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, otherwise, you guys uh, spent money and hired a bunch of people to basically start a new life on their on your ship or vessel if you would where buddy you're so loud where they were uh able to find a way to start a new um a way for them to begin a new life. And as you guys are getting okay, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Baby right. problems. But we just started. One of those nights. Can't even make it past the recap. <laughs> oh, we're still live. Hi. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I didn't oh, yeah, take. I didn't take we're, anything we're away because I, uh, I literally just threw him down in a room and closed. I him. hope not. Whoa, that's not whoa. cool. It's a little extreme. Oh, you know what I mean. I set him down in a room Gently. where he can. Sure. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, <laughs> where he is. <laughs> Where he can we do not advocate baby violence. Just regular violence. Mm -hmm. totally we here exactly. do not condone, condone child violence. We do, however, find it hysterical. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I just I set him down so that he can kick and scream and not interrupt me. Um, and I'm going to prepare more food for my fat child. <laughs> little rip ain't gonna be little for long. It's true. He's got chubby little cheeks. I've seen him. He no. He legitimately, not even five minutes ago, finished four ounces of food. So You're, one day when he's older, he's gonna somehow discover this. I hope he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm um, so sorry, Dad. <laughs> I mean, all this sorry, is on right. YouTube. All this is on YouTube, so it's this is true. Oh. Check out the Big oh. Ripper YouTube channel if you ever find yourself uh, uh, in need Blind. of entertainment and don't know what know what you did uh, or what we did previously. Everything is uploaded remember there. When we started. Remember when we started in the the oldest episodes? There was no baby yet. Yes. <laughs> um, My have times change. Almost like we've been playing for nine months or something. <laughs> <gasps> wow. <laughs> um. So. Uh, let's see here. And I lost that. I don't know where that went. Um. <laughs> The you guys did push ups, you guys worked out. Yeah, I think that was pretty much everything that you guys did. Um, up until right before you guys were getting ready to take off, um, in your flying fortress, you guys took um, some time and set aside everything as you guys were beginning to settle in for the day you guys knew you guys had a little bit of a journey ahead of you um and that's when 
John brings up a an invite to a dinner with him and his family before you guys set off on your adventure in the sky. Um, I would assume you would tell them that they are not required to attend, but if they would like to, they may. John? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so the message is delivered to you guys, and you guys are allowed to respond as we get right into tonight's episode. Hmm. Is it like a handwritten message? I would imagine uh, he'd just tell you in person. Yeah. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Never turn down free food. <laughs> oh, uh, it's not so much about that. <laughs> I, I promise I'll be there. I mean, oh, I had episode. a question I wanted to ask your brother anyway. Oh, yeah, he, he will definitely be there. Oh. The the brother that heart. took... Which brother? The the one that... You have more? I, hmm. I think we only know the one brother. Well, the, okay, the, the, the one that had the, the horses. Really like the horses. Um, just know I'll be bringing Ray along. Okay. Okay. Um, and also, for your reference, um, and mine as well, uh, <laughs> uh, Ginger, I reshared the your family tree, quote unquote, with you in Discord. Oh yeah, thank you. Because I forget, I thought. <laughs> Don't worry, I I understand. It's been a while. Um, I do have more brothers, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. You okay. have an older. I you thought have a, so. Your your two older brothers. Um, and actually, so I I had misspoke earlier. Um, in terms of uh, referring to you, uh, Rona, um, the individual that you met was a cousin, uh, but it was oh. his. Oh, cousin. It was, but it was his dad's brother's son. So it was a very immediate family, which is why they all live in the same house. Ah, John's cousin, Maybe. Michael. Yep. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm like, which brother? <laughs> yeah, you but have it a... It was cousin. his brother. Cousin, brother, you know, he's related to you somehow. I, mm. I wrote it down, but I didn't... I was too lazy to check my notes. Yeah, I, yeah, you I have... totally forgot that it was the cousin. Mm -hmm. Yep, you have two older brothers. Uh, the the cousin that you met, uh, Michael, is uh, about your age. Okay. So there's also ages with all of the names there, as well as indications of uh, those who are still living. What happened to the ones that aren't living? Well, they died, genius. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> You never I mean, know. <laughs> why don't but you check I... with your? Why don't you check with your? Um, oh God! What is? What is he? What is his name? What is his proper noun? I don't know. Gatekeeper of the dead or whatever. I'll be right back. I'm gonna. You mean Dinoch? Yes. I'm lost. Uh Oh boy! Uh, he's, he's, I asked what happened to the ones that weren't alive anymore, and he said they were dead. But you know, Dinoch happens to bring things that are dead to a semblance of life. I think he was saying check with Dinoch. About what happens what kind of to broke. dead people? He kind of broke up. or people that are no longer living. You know what? Check with him. What happens to them? Where is Michael on this list? It, it'll Michael, look like, right? it, yeah, it'll look like Mishael. Uh, so, oh. it, it, yeah. Okay. Is it Michael? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, so Michael. That's both like, you know, Michael. <laughs> I sure hope so. I figured he'd want to see Ray again. 
Oh. <laughs> Uh. Dun dun dun. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We're all right. wavelength here. That's so, not good. Yeah. No, this is perfect. Um, you guys, does everybody wish to attend the dinner? I'll be there. Oh, wait. Yeah, sure. that. Never turn down free food. Okay. Right. Um. Sure. Yeah, Cardin will be there because. Um, dumb, dumb. Right. Everybody's wait, coming. The... I'll let. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. This is the night before we leave. Yes. So, like yeah. in the morning, We're you guys get... are taking We're... off. We're gonna get up the mountain in a day. Give or take. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're we didn't know the path, now, but it. still. <laughs> we're gonna sprint up the mountain. We know where yeah. we're going now! <laughs> I mean, that's part of it. The travel time is, re is drastically reduced now that you guys actually know where the thing is at. Um, okay. Because... Before, you guys were literally just wandering through the mountains. There was a number of successes that you guys needed to acquire in order to, right. to actually find the place. You guys reached that number of successes. Oh, nice. So, the, the evening... Is there anything anybody wants to do that day beforehand, I guess I should say? Hmm. I will say for the sake of brevity, Cardin takes a bath. <laughs> <laughs> the first one in two years. Pretty much. Oh that, actually, that actually sounds like a great idea. So it's been a while. I've been basically he I've just goes the and uh, basically he just goes and cannonballs. Oh wait, I don't <laughs> think there's any any lake lakes around here. Borrow one at the end. There is not. Um, That's what I did. So he goes and honestly, he'd probably just fall into like a fountain or something like that in a big district and then <laughs> walk out of it. Oh, good enough. Does that not sound like a Cardin thing to do? Yes. Good so enough. He t yeah, exactly. That's his equivalent of a bath. If, it, if you guys were near a lake, I would have said he would have swung from a tree, landed in the lake. <laughs> And then walked out on the other side, and that would have been him taking a bath. <laughs> Nothing you guys would like to do during the day, other than clean up and prepare for yourselves? Not really. Uh, I want to keep going through the library as much as I can. Okay. Um, is there anything... Are you just looking for more general information, or are you looking for anything specific, or...? Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to be looking for any mention of what that, uh, the old, the old guys that, that we visited yesterday. We're talking, the, the, uh, oh, what was his name? Your ancestor, Katya. The Red Scare. Scare. Yeah. I want to see if there's any mention of him Ooh, in these books. Okay. Yes, because I asked you about that. Yeah, and yeah, I'm glad I, I did. you decided to go and look. <laughs> I remember that now. Okay, go ahead and roll an investigation check for me. Investigation. 22. 22. Nice. Okay. Um, there are... Um, uh -oh. there, no, you're fine. Um, <laughs> there is a, a couple of entries, um, about an entity known as the Red Scare. Um, one, one being about a, a human village, an early set human village um uh hold on i gotta think where it was near because they would have listed 
Because this is one thing that you notice as you're kind of going through things. Um, the 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 giants were very detailed on a lot of their reports. Um, strangely so at times. Um, the there was a little village near. Uh, or sorry, between the the Laughing Woods and the the Corthium Forest, the Corthum Forest. Um, there was just a little village out in the middle of nowhere. Um, it was so small that it ha didn't even have a name. Um, at least not the gi not that the giants knew about anyway. Um, mm -hmm. that one day turned into a basically a smoking crater oh my um there was nothing but red and blackened earth and dirt left in its wake there was it was just one day people were there and the next day it was a crater that is literally all the information they gathered they were able to find on it Um, even, even, and they, they didn't, they didn't know, even the nearing cities of, um, Pora and Vagram wouldn't have had no information on this at all. They just literally were like, I, we didn't even know it was missing. And that was it. The uh, could you write those two town, those, those two settlement names in the chat? Yeah. Uh, this will take me a minute due to Baby. one hand. So <laughs> it is Porta and. So I'm going to be writing this down to you. Vagrant. Por Portha? Porta. Or Pora. Porta. Sorry. Pora. Pora. Got it. Yeah. Because these might be useful landmarks later if we can find anything. <laughs> and what was the town itself originally known as? There was no, no name, name for it. It was a. It was like a recently, mm. um, after some inquiries and later in the script, you can see that there was like an, uh, a denotation made in the text. Uh, so like a sub, uh, like a subtext or a footer, if mm. you would. Um, the the giants. Mm -hmm, the giants made note. Uh, the the city had been established a couple weeks beforehand and they were technically still a settlement w without a name. Uh, they were seeking to gain the right to have the, an actual name um, when they suddenly just <laughs> turned into a crater. Boom. Yep. I don't know. I guess the red scare survived this. Um. You would imagine, as Dinoch finds a later entry, um, oh. that um, the giants. Oh, it's Das. That was oh. something weird on my end. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, later, the giants write about a um, a hill giant clan. Um, known as the uh, see, they the denoted here would have been oh, wait, D, eh, you have comprehend language now. Sorry, magic and translations is funny. Um, so it would have been denoted, it would be denoted as a hill giant clan known as the um, the stompers basically would be co rough common. Um, and they were completely, um, annihilated and they oh, weren't, shit. like, they didn't, like, a, a singular clan was completely wiped out by what you assume is the red, it was the red scare, um, as the, there was no crater, but the bodies themselves were basically just 
killed and left out in the open and a red pathway basically led from like through their area um and it wasn't blood it was like the brown that dirt get the like the reddish brown that dirt gets when like all the grass the soil itself has died and been pulled away from it um that it was that kind of a red that occurred um but the clan itself was murdered um from what you can tell from the entries anyway hmm But there's nothing that refers to like an actual name, just this moniker. No, no actual name. It's all written um, in refer in reference to the Red Scare. No, oh. that still gives me something to work with. Now I know what I'm getting myself into uh, if I try to commune with that individual. <laughs> um, one other thing that you do pick up on, Dinoc, is. Names of people is not something that the giants typically kept record of, um, specifically human people, um, unless they were very important. Um, they're typically it's got to be like a king of like a large empire, um, and sometimes it's not even like a first name. A lot of times it's just the family the family line. Um, so like for uh, for example, it would be like. Um, uh, well, with John's family, you know, the the Visk family, um, it, it, would, it would be written as that, but like with, you know, human names. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't ever like that, you know, so and so it was more like the head of the blank family. Mm -hmm. And then continue. It was never. There were very there are very rare instances of of you know John Doe did this and this and this, mm -hmm. so it's very much of an overview because they were overseers in a sense. Hmm. But yeah, that's what you would learn. Okay. Um. Ow. Okay. Okay. Um, does anybody else want to do anything? Whoa. Okay. <gasps> oh. Is that a blind? <laughs> we have a blind! Oh boy, he joined. Um. <laughs> By the way, we are live, dude. We're live. Okay. Yeah. I figured we were live. Yeah. Either way, I'm so fucking. <laughs> we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about it later. We'll, um, you guys are getting ready for a formal dinner. I said that you took a bath. An air quotes bath. Yeah. A carton bath. Yeah, <laughs> basically you acted like you tripped and fell into a fountain and then climbed out of it. Um, actually, hold on, I want to check something. I gotta find my notes. Um, I am thinking hmm. that one of you guys might be able to have more information. Um, I just cut out super hard. That's neat. Um, you didn't miss anything. Nope. <laughs> uh, Valinar. We're waiting on the DM. Yep. Do I actually know something? <laughs> yeah. You recognize the oh, names okay. of Pora and Vega. And that's why my Bluetooth messed up again. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, oh, great. Mm. Those are two city names from the island that you're located on. Hey. Originally. Oh. Hey. Um, assuming you share oh. this information yep. with the entire party, you know that the crater that they refer to um, is known as 
Um, eh, sorry. The um, excuse me, good lord. Uh, is known as the the Red Pit. It is a uh, maybe a quarter mile um, in diameter kind of hole in the ground um, that goes down several hundred feet that has this like red sand kind of color to it that Basically, all the adults tell you guys, tell children to stay away from, uh, and that it was a small, the last time, uh, somebody tried creating a small city, um, without... What's the name of this crater? So the Red Pit? Yeah. Did I get that right? Something like that. Okay. I had a different name in my head, and I forgot it. Um... <laughs> Uh, it was red something. I thought I heard red. Yeah, pit. yeah. Red Close pit up. is pro- is probably what I said. I probably had a different name. I probably I had a different name in my head earlier, and then I was like, I forgot it already. Um, but yeah, you guys continue. Uh, the The pit itself is basically like, um, mm, it, it's like a haunted house kind of, uh, to think about it in your guys' day and age. Um, nobody so really goes ancestor, there. Mm-hmm. My ancestor dates back to Valinor's land. And then somehow my family ended up on a different island. Um, probably moved as far, they probably moved as far from there as they could. To, <laughs> I mean, they here, to look at it. this way. The island's rising was only 2,000 years ago. How far back does this kind of history date? So the information that Valinar, so the information that Valinar has um, would be kind of a, you know, this is this is like just something we don't do anymore. It's kind of a we don't do it because this happened. You know, this whole. Uh, you know, something basically obliterated this city, and they use it kind of like as a ghost story, kind of warning kind of a thing. Uh, <laughs> the story and information that you found in your book, uh, Dinoch, would date back um, according to your math, your brain. Yeah, you're probably looking at probably close to five or six thousand years, if not longer. Okay. Yep. So, just gonna absorb that information. Mm-hmm. For later, when we eventually arrive at Valor either Valor location. Valor. Yes. Alrighty. So, you guys. Prepare for the day, and eventually, as evening comes, um, you guys join John outside of his family estate's gates. You guys are led inside um, by servants. Again, the, the grounds itself is absolutely massive. The the grounds are very luxurious and growing with plentiful plants and trees, all trimmed to perfection. Um, the front door standing probably 10 feet tall and probably wider than, than necessary. And the house itself is about a, be about a five-story house. Um, Almost feels like home. That is several uh, 
several thousands of feet long, you would imagine. Um, due to the sheer size of this house, it is almost dwarf dwarfing to you guys in some in some capacity. Some of you are used to this feeling, others not so much. Um, and as you guys are led into the house, you guys can see that the floors and walls are made of this tented and almost brilliant marble color. Um, the floors Ooh. being of a wash white and the walls being almost an offset of green. Um, not like an ugly green, but like a pretty green that matches well with the marble itself, the marble flooring. And um, immediately greeting you is a group of waiters and wait or butlers and maids, basically. Um, immediately, though, they do ask you guys to leave your uh, weapons basically at the door. Um, they have like a small coat closet kind of a thing where you guys are asked to store your weapons and um, coats and that the, and they tell you that the door would be locked um, until you guys decide to leave. Okay. Mm, I prefer the ropes to stay on though, honestly. Well, if you have a jacket, you can hang your jacket. If you don't have a jacket, you don't take your jacket off. Kind of common I mean, sense I do have there, co buddy. I do have common clothes. I don't think Cardin really has anything to take off. You mean he doesn't have hordes of weapons to unload? Not at all. <laughs> nah, not at all. There are no weapons here. It's just his clothes. As he bumps, you know, the blade of a sword into somebody. As you just feel like this clink, 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 clink. <laughs> From just all the different pieces of metal hitting each other. Right. <laughs> I'll just... I mean, I don't need to wear the chain mail. Remove that fairly readily, right? No, it takes like ten minutes to take off chain mail. <laughs> Uh, but I want to be comfortable enough to eat, so yeah, I'll fiddle with that for a little bit. Okay, you take off your chain mail. Um, Neat. I would imagine. I would imagine, uh, John, you're kind of in not your not like the nicest clothes you own, but like the nicest clothes that you have worn uh, worn in, um, <laughs> which is like the same <laughs> outfit you wear it to like all formal gatherings, basically. Okay. And it's it's been Actually. it's basically been worn in where it's comfortable for you to wear and not like unsightly compared to some of the other garments um, in your wardrobe. Um, and I would also the... say that you have your armor and a, a sword and basically in your own room where you have it uh, kind of mounted and whatnot. <laughs> to help speed this along a little bit. Because I'm not so used to, you know, putting on and taking off chainmail. Can I get John to help me? <laughs> oh, you're having John help you undress, are you? <laughs> mm, maybe. <laughs> Katya winks at John. Can you help me take this off? <laughs> John looks a little bit flustered. Yeah, I guess. Why do you have to wear chainmail to the formal event because i didn't know what was going off. to i didn't know what was going to jump out at us between now and then i so guess that's fair it <laughs> it's better than carrying it around in my pack also we knew it was formal before we went right <laughs> yes okay so valinar probably would have worn his uh vestments okay oh yeah that's a that's a good point Hmm. I've only mentioned I was the formal idiot. dinner about four or five times. <laughs> and I'm the idiot who decided to wear my chain mail in. Yes. <laughs> so, sorry, I was kind of doing something with my notes. Exactly. <laughs> Got a little distracted. Well, uh, hmm. I was 
not paying attention to that little aspect. So yeah, I wore my chainmail here. Can you help me fix my mistake? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll help you fix your mistake. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> but you owe me for this. I'm not gonna forget. Okay. So I I, th- I thought you were getting your gadget. payment, but I thought oh. Well, I was saying, I thought you were getting your payment by helping me out in the first place. No. Oh. <laughs> if if you Why? could hear eye rolling, you would. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys kind of take, leave your sharp bits in the room that they asked you to. I'm assuming a lot of you didn't take everything. Um, as you knew it was going to be a formal, a former di- dinner in the paladin's home. <laughs> that you guys would take way. everything. Yep. Uh, Everything's shoved in my pack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dinoch hands the uh, normal dagger over, uh, but as he's walking with John, he leans in and asks, whispers. By the way, how are you, your people with holdout weapons? On my island, it is considered rude to hand over all weapons and not have something hidden. Wait, quickly, out of character, what is a holdout weapon? A hidden deck weapon. Oh. Um. Something sneaky to conceal and hide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, there. If if you want to have a holdout weapon, if that makes you feel more comfortable, my family is okay with you having a holdout weapon. Yeah, they're as long as they don't see it, they don't take offense yeah. to it. But if they see it, that's kind of when they take offense to it, unless like they're attacked. You know, like say you know, friggin' like the uh, demon. Uh, yeah, something were to bust into their house and like start attacking them, and then you pulled the blade. They're not going to be upset. They're going to be like, "Oh, you cheeky bastard!" And then they're gonna, and then they're going to <laughs> join with you, and you know, smite the in the wrongdoer. Now, if you were to just pull the knife out at the dinner table and be like, "I'm gonna gut you," I'm gonna, I'm gonna gut you, sir. They're gonna smite you where you stand. Now, what if I use it to cut the cheese? Well, I would, advise, I would advise not putting that in your prison wallet. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what you guys I don't know what you guys I'm not you know. talking about the actual slices of cheese. What if I need to cut it? I will let you know my family will have plenty of knives specifically for cutting cheese. So you don't need to worry about that. You don't need, like, I don't know if you've looked around uh, this this place that we're in right now, but I think we can afford a few cheese knives. Just saying. <laughs> Eventually, you guys are given, you guys basically put away what is what is necessary um the door is locked um and the key is uh kept with one of the servants who follows uh who basically leads you guys <laughs> uh leads you guys into um a a waiting area and he kind of tells you he goes if you would like to wait here for a few moments dinner will be served shortly um and he oh. kind of he kind of leaves into the kitchen area. Um, what does he mean by "if we want to wait here"? Common courtesy. Okay. Because you know I don't really like waiting, but I don't see any other option. Well, you're also with John, who knows his way around the house. Hmm. Which is. Also, part of the reason why he said if you guys would like to. Ah. So we don't need to listen to that. No, if you want to go show him, you know, your room or whatever, go for it. Mm. Private tour. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, you're going to take me straight to your room, huh? (laughs) Oh, never mind, JK, the tour's off. You can wait right here, Katya. It's fine. (laughs) 
Uh, everybody oh. else can come on the tour. Katya has to stay and wait. I'm offended. <laughs> you that's, should be. I'm offended that you are that's just trying sexism. To go- what? what? <laughs> You're currently a guy, Katya. I don't care. It's sexist. <laughs> It's my I room, go- and I get to decide who comes in my room and who does not. <laughs> Period. This would be a very awkward moment for somebody to walk by. <laughs> <laughs> like to imagine there's a servant walking by when Dinox <laughs> said, you're a guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, okay then, as they keep walking <laughs> You do oh, see fine. people tra- you know, going in and out and about the house. Um, mostly servants. Um, you do catch uh, like a young, a young, a young girl run through, f- be- being chased very closely by a younger-looking boy. Um, they look to be like between the ages of twelve and eight. Um, John, you recognize them as your distant, young, youngest cousins. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to quick pull up the family list. <laughs> it would, uh, the, the, the girl would be Alexa, and the young boy would have been Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Alexa. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> like, excited for the feast tonight? They stop, and they turn, and they're like, Whoa. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Lord. Yep, way to chime in. <laughs> um, they're like, oh, you have some funny looking friends. <laughs> hey, have you got a, co- a load of that dragon man? <laughs> yeah. I think they're talking about you, Katia. <laughs> Excuse me. If. Of all of us here, I have got to be the best looking. Uh, <laughs> Cardin just goes, eh. The, the boy kind of looks up at you and looks around and goes, no. And then runs <laughs> off with the girl. <laughs> Dang, Kata, it's not your night. Damn. Well. <clears throat> Fine. I'll wait here. By myself. By the, by the way, I think he was talking about... And I reach back and bump my fist against the Minotaur. Which I'm surprised no one's talked about. Oh, oh I, f- I figured... Okay, that is a misunderstanding on my behalf because I kind of figured you would have left that um, either like in the bag of holding or uh, in your room. <laughs> Uh, just because knowing, you? <laughs> just because it was a former a formal dinner. Yeah, uh, was, and according yeah. to my culture, th- ha- not having a servant if I'm a priest of the dead, mm. oh, that's also an offense. <laughs> I do feel like when you get to the table, um, people are going to give looks to the Minotaur since they were already like hesitant about me and my mom being an orc and then you're bringing like a minotaur though i mean granted our whole group is pretty weird but mm. yeah that's they, a, met, that was a they met you moment. guys they did not meet the minotaur <laughs> well i mean actually if you if you look at us on the outside other than Cardin looking like an animal the rest <laughs> of us look pretty normal Right, well, okay. Dean Ock takes off his sunglasses to show his glowing eyes and then puts them back on. <laughs> you might have a point there. <laughs> then of of all of us, I have to be the most normal looking. But I wait here. You can go show everybody else your room and your fancy belongings and I'll just imagine it. Because, you know, I've been inside of fancy houses myself before, so it's not a big deal to me. I mean, if you want, I can lead us all to the 
dining room table where we're going to be having the feast. I like that idea more. I don't like being left out. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. It hurts fair. my feelings. <laughs> I can just imagine Katya kind of stomping his foot a little bit. <laughs> not fair. Crossing his arms and pouting is not fair. Katya, you better behave or I'm going to tell my family to have you sit at the kids' table. <laughs> I'll be on my best behavior. That's what I thought. All right, everybody follow me. Okay. Katya rolls his eyes. I'll lead them to where we're going to be having okay. the... Mm. Um, so you lead them to the main banquet hall, and you guys pass through some very nice and lavishly decorated hallways. I'm talking like sculptures and paintings and sculpted hey, I paintings. I've seen that somewhere before. And <laughs> it's it is Paint almost to the it is almost to the point of gaudy, but not too much. Um, and a lot of the paintings are of like battles, like victorious battles. Um, and then a lot of the the sculpt the sculptures are more of like past head um, um, head of the family um, kind of a thing. Um, and Eventually, he leads you guys into this room with a massive, and I'm talking a massive, table. It's seated for, uh, hold on, I gotta count. A lot. <laughs> many, many people. It's, hold on, I, I, got, I got numbers, so. Oh my gosh. John and his extended family. <laughs> uh, for roughly 27 people. Dang, that's like my Thanksgivings. <laughs> yeah, it is a very... It is a very large table with a very large family. And... um. John, you know that the first um, five seats, right? Yeah, five seats um, oh. are spoken for. It is also then common courtesy to give the next um, four seats uh, to the individual's wives. But then oh. after that, it's kind of free game. Okay. So depending on how close you want to sit to the the head of the family mm -hmm. um, or how far away you want to be. You do know that your father and mother uh, will be seated fairly close um, to the, to the head of the table um, okay. where your, where your grandfather will sit. Yeah. Um, so my recommendation would be like, uh, let's see if I can do a really quick drawing here just to get help out with visuals here. We're going to freehand it and we're going to do I'll take the first seat that's available. <laughs> You'll take the seat that just pointed sits out to down. you. Got gotcha. you. So like here's kind of the table. I, I know I'm doing a poor job. Just gotta it's get beautiful. It this you could have just here, drawn a big square. Yeah, this this uh, spot here would be where your grandpa would sit. Okay. And then, because of your brother's age, he, your your brother would sit, or your your dad would sit here. Okay. Um. And then, and then your mom would also would be next to him. So the okay. best place for you would be. Um. I was thinking about this backwards. So the best place for you guys would be like in this area, right? Okay. Um, sort of. Um, you know that these two seats here would go to your uncle and aunt. Okay. 
Yeah, so. I'm probably going to sit um the closest to where uh my aunt and uncle are, like the seat like beside them. Okay. All right, and, and I guess I'll be like right there next to him. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are welcome to sit over here as well. Um, but in terms of like proper etiquette, this is the best place to. Mm-hmm. This area over here is the best place to sit, just because then people don't have to turn their head to address you. Yeah. So. Um. And since the whole family is there, you know that. Uh, how you would probably want to sit would be properly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um. Okay. You guys sit. Um, do all of you sit basically in a row after John then? Is there enough room? Yes. Yeah. Probably. Yes. I'm not that fat. Jeez. <laughs> So there's there's it's seated for twenty seven people and then there's extra uh, chairs um, towards the end um, that have been added afterwards, um, kind of like by the butlers and stuff. And you can tell that there's another table under the cloth and stuff that has been added clearly for um, the extra addition of you guys. Um, now you guys are allowed to sit wherever. Um, Where's the committee been... table? Out of curiosity. <laughs> um, there isn't one. Okay, then I don't want to be sent to the kitty table. <laughs> yeah, you just, the kitty you table just... is you go outside. You just, uh, John, you would know that the the kid, the children, basically sit at the far end of the table, as far away from Grandpa <laughs> as possible. <laughs> that, yes, that is where Katsu needs to go. <laughs> no, I don't want to sit down there. But I then you be better with my be family, here. my friends, my comrades, whatever you guys are. Whatever we. Are. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna delete that. Um, you guys go and sit. And take your seats. Um, after a few minutes, uh, a young waitress uh, or wa- uh, maid kind of notices that you guys are sitting in here, and she brings back a pitcher of water for you guys to drink from, um, and just kind of just let me know if it needs refilled, and I'll fetch another. Um, she kind of bows to all of you guys, and then just master this and walks away. I'm like, hold up, hold up. Um, mm-hmm. Would you, would you be so kind as to bring out some wine and cheese for me and my comrades um, to partake while we wait for the feast? If you don't mind, thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I will see what I can uh, find. And she kind of gives another bow and uh, leaves. Um, she does return after about five minutes or so. Um, and she does have a small a small tray of cheese and a small pitcher of wine for you guys. Um, all of it is pre-cut, and it is very good. Uh, the wine is uh, very... <clears throat> it is a very, like, soft and gentle wine that goes really well with the cheese itself. Um, it has a very... There's a very strong, like, um, grape or maybe plum flavor. You're not quite sure Oops. which one. Um, but it is very good, nonetheless. Um, quick question. Can you direct me to the nearest restroom? Um... <laughs> sure, and I point like I give Katya directions on where the restroom mm-hmm. would be. Yeah, okay, you give him directions. Perfect. I'll do my best to not get lost. <clears throat> Please don't. I don't want to have to send the search party out for you. <laughs> and a house this size—that's no joke. It really <laughs> isn't. We. Away. Have... <laughs> <laughs> He's okay, already I... gone. <laughs> 
I it will wasn't say... the first time we had to set up a squad just to go find people that got lost trying to find the bathroom. <laughs> you have a whole bathroom search party now. <laughs> bathroom search party. The hall monitors. <laughs> <laughs> We spared no expense on this. It was very vital. We've lost so many guests. I, I can see there's an office somewhere in the house. Like there's a group of people that they, they just sit there and they get they hear the phone ring and their first thought is oh, finally something to do. <laughs> there's another person lost in the bathroom area. <laughs> um, make a survival check, uh, Katya. <laughs> Oh hell! <laughs> oh no! Here we go. I'll say you have advantage due to the directions. Oh well, thank God because that was terrible. So here's the second one. <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord! Seven. I should know my way around, but no. <laughs> Where did I end up? <laughs> Uh -oh. So, thank you. You, you grandfather. You do get lost, but only for a minute. Um, and eventually, you do find the restroom, which also strangely made very much of marble. Um, wow. Oh, they have yeah. a fountain in here. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And eventually, after using the restroom and uh, powdering your nose, you return. Whoa, 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 wait. There was something else I was going to do, too. Okay. Go for it. They, I wanted to go to the bath, go into the bathroom area because I wanted a secluded area to use uh, Alter Self. Because I wasn't going to blow up the dinner table. But nobody questions you if you blow up the toilet, right? Well... <laughs> That's not quite what that means. Yeah. Well, I will okay. let you know the squad will be excited to have something to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Did, I, did that work? Here we go. I mean, I'm fairly, I'm pretty fami familiar with Alter Self. Um, okay. What? But it's going to cost me. What do you take the appearance of? I'm going to take the appearance of female Katya. Because in my mind, it would be rude for me to show up to dinner um, <coughs> not as my true self. Okay. Um, and I'll just disappear again if I have to uh, cast it again before it wears off. Gotcha. <laughs> um, do me You're a gonna favor. Twice. Uh, mm -hmm. Do me a favor and go ahead and re-describe what your feminine form looks like, uh, both for the sake of chat and the uh, party, uh, so that yes. people kind of know what this new entity looks like. And All buys right. the DM time <clears throat> to find his notes on your well. <laughs> so, female Katya is about a whole foot shorter than male Katya, so five foot three. And she's thin, about 110 pounds. Um, well, I wouldn't say that's thin for that height. That's more like a eh, little, little more average. She's small. Instead of the brown eyes, she has green eyes and um, about shoulder length, blonde hair. Um, she does come from a wealthy family, so she is stereoty stereotypically very beautiful looking. <laughs> But the clothing won't change any. <laughs> I feel like the description should have been longer because the DM is still looking for notes. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Go ahead and roll your uh, D100. Ah, okay. I... Yeah, roll the D100. Boom, D100. 47. 47. Literally blows up the Oh no! I know this one. <laughs> oh, you do. 
Yeah, I, I, I started taking the liberty of writing them down as they happen. <laughs> okay. So, so I'm not surprised anymore. <laughs> okay. So you have had this one before, which means uh -huh. you get to make a charisma check. All right. 14 does not pass. That is, does not pass. <laughs> so you <laughs> you you go to the bathroom to explain away. and in a sense you do powder your nose um mm -hmm. you just happen to now be glowing in a um <laughs> did you say you altered your 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 clothing uh no just my fist well, yeah, the, I had to alter the appearance of my clothing as well so that it fits my smaller form. Okay. Um, just so you just changed it from... Um, oh, wait a minute. Hmm? Never mind, it doesn't say anything about clothing or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it roll. Um, so do you you just make the clothing that you're currently wearing smaller? Yes. Okay. Uh, what color is your out current outfit? Ooh, um, I think it was like a like a midnight black slash dark purple with okay. gold trim. So you are now glowing this dark purple coloration. <laughs> As you basically oh. powder your nose and cast fairy fire on yourself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll look in the mirror and I'll say, wow, Katya, you are glowing tonight. <laughs> do 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 <laughs> All of the Dinoch deadpans. All of the Dinoch deadpans. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking real quick. I'm sh <laughs> what is that noise? That is uh, Discord. Yeah, being blown up. Okay. As I said, all of the Dinoc dead pans. Oh, it's, that's oh. Dinoc. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, did that not then I'll return to the table. Okay, roll another survival check with advantage. By the way, shouldn't you also have to roll for perception because of to see if you're uh, notice how brightly glowing you are? I'm pretty sure I noticed. Oh, 12. Okay. It does take you a minute to get back, which, fortunately for you, allows for the fairy fire to wear off. Oh, good. Uh, but you... <laughs> You have a much easier time finding your way back than you did finding the restroom. Um, you guys watch as the description Katya just read to you walks into the room. And comes and takes a seat beside John. What the hell? First thing, I'm going to look to Dinoch. Do not dispel it this time. It would be rude of me. It would be rude of me to be here in anything other than my proper form. What the fuck? Does Dinoch even have dispel magic? I'm pretty sure that's just uh, Valinar. Somebody cast yeah, it. That was me. <laughs> yeah, you. Whichever one of you cast it on me before, don't. No, Dinoc just counterspells. Yeah, and Dinoc just counterspells. Valinar just makes it go away. Because I guarantee I will get up and I will light this room up with a lightning bolt if you 
I, I, even think about it. I really hope. I really hope this dinner lasts longer than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this dinner goes all night. <clears throat> Personally, you, you better believe cool. it. Um. <laughs> After some time passes, you guys have eaten. What was that? Oh, I'm hearing myself. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think Cardin's on speakerphone. Oh, he muted himself now, so we're good. Um, good choice. Yeah, I'm surprised he caught it. Um, uh, so, well, well, I'm dealing with Wi-Fi issues. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Just tell Wait. her to behave. <laughs> anyway. I wish. I finally, like, I was trying to log into World 20 and the Wi Fi is down. Uh, technology. You guys uh, wait a few more minutes. You guys have finished your cheese and meats and wine. Um, mm. And eventually people begin to pour in as the as the time begins to get a little bit later. Uh, people begin to pour in. Uh, John, the first thing you noticed is your older your old, eldest brother, uh, Tyler, who walks in, sees where you're sitting, and like almost stops and just looks at you for a minute. Okay, blind. I guess the internet went out. Uh, anyway, um, your your, old, your eldest brother Tyler stops and looks at you for a minute, and then this there's this moment of like you bastard, and then there's a <sighs> this way, and he walks off uh, with his uh, his wife and two kids. Uh, and they sit a little further down the table uh, from you guys, and you guys, you guys see um, a human, uh, kind of late, uh, mid to late forties, um, got this pepper pepper brown hair. Um, he is tall and mus uh, muscular, um, and he's wearing a very formal. Clothing. Uh, he is wearing the a, a like a black, almost like a, a a dark, like a black and gold kind of trimmed uh, suit uh, or not suit. Uh, what are they called? Um, oh God, Tux? the mid. Well, the medieval version of those, basically. Oh, oh, uh, nope. Um, don't think they had a specific um, name for it as far as I would know that's probably true a tunic fan brace no that's that's your no, that's, that's armor that's armor <clears throat> for a moment I'm actually that look th I actually just found an image of what he is probably very closely wearing except it's not this, the right color um we're... it's a dinner suit. Yeah. <laughs> it, well it's it's weird. It, um You gonna share it? I'm working on it. I have to tell uh, it first. <gasps> For shame. So it's in I just put it in the 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 back the chat. Uh, Ooh, anyway. fancy! It, it looks like that, but imagine the where the red is. Oh. It's it's more of the black color, and then where you see the embroidery, um, it's like a gold trim. Oh, good. We'll put it also in the D and D. So anyone who wants to see it, uh, yeah, you'll have anyone to... who's on who's watching the stream. Who can't see it if it's in the wrong place? He's actually he's actually wearing a suit coat with a tail. Yeah, I I tail literally coat? just 
I literally just like did a really quick Google search and I saw that and I was like, that's actually like really close to what I was imagining. <laughs> and what is it called again? What I just put in there. Yeah. That is, uh, it is a European style men's evening dress court fashion tuxedo. <laughs> that's a mouthful. So yeah, a fancy dinner coat. Pretty much. <laughs> so, um, you later, um, and his, his, uh, his wife is a kind of a blonde haired lady, um, about the same age. Um, you can see that there's beginning to develop some stress wrinkles under her eyes and stuff like that. Um, and there are two kids uh, who look to be around John's age. Um, um, the eldest being uh, a a female um, who's got who also has blonde hair um, and is very. How do I say this? She is not slender like the typical female would be, but but she's not fat. She's pleasantly plump. <laughs> like, I literally thought the same thing. I, I, I was, <laughs> Here we go. I, I was going to say beefy, is she um, thick? as in ah. <laughs> uh, Katya, you would bet money that she would whoop your ass in a physical competition. I wouldn't doubt it. It's not uh, hard. These <laughs> kids could whip Katya's ass. Yeah, um, uh, that might be Katya, pushing a little bit. Katya might and have like a chance against Kevin. <laughs> that old guy oh, calls me ugly one more time. I don't know, that we was... trained them young, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, Kevin was the eight-year-old that called Katya ugly. Ah! <laughs> uh, he, he wouldn't recognize me now. Mm-hmm. Um, Give it an air. <laughs> um, after after uh, Tyler uh, comes in, you do see your brother Robert and his wife Euphoria come in. They do not have any kids. Um, Robert looks a lot like Tyler, um, except he's way, th like, thinner, almost gaunt, um, which actually makes his appearance almost weird, um, when he shows up in, again, another picture in the D&D chat, um, with this, like, black overcoat that has, like, this silverly, Ooh. silver, silver embroidery kind of flowing up the jacket kind of up to its collar. Um, he Where looks, can I get one of those? Uh, <laughs> ironically, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Do I ask how expensive it is? <laughs> Five I'll send, dollar. <laughs> I'll send you the link. Um, it probably ain't cheap. <laughs> but it is it is very fitting to him and he looks he looks good. Um John has something similar to this, but he's not wearing the jacket. Really? Um and the, Why am I not wearing the jacket? What the Cuz you ripped it. Oh. Cuz you <laughs> So, I want to point out. Dude, but both Tyler and Robert are much older than John, but John Oops. dwarfs them in like size comparison. John is he it, it's it's hysterical to watch. It's almost like watching uh, Dwayne Johnson standing beside Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, and if you guys so don't that know. Jacket? Uh, if you guys don't know a comparison for that, go watch Central Intelligence. You'll get one. Uh <laughs> <laughs> that jacket is surprisingly only fifty dollars. Yes. Dang. Wow. Yeah. Oh, like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that to be like hundred men. Uh, two two hundred two fifty, but 
that's actually somewhat affordable. Hmm. Now, how about the other one? I don't, uh, don't have an answer for that. <clears throat> the other one was apparently twenty-seven fifty-six on Wish. <laughs> Ew, Wish. Twenty-seven yeah, exactly. dollars. Yeah, twenty-seven dollars fifty-six cents on Wish. I would not buy from Wish. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you only get like. You'll get really the jacket and things. an STD. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, the last so, thing I bought on Wish was a rechargeable battery for my Xbox controller. Now, it did not hold a charge worth a damn. It wouldn't even charge. But as long as I plugged my controller into the wall, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I realized you know, I didn't even need to have a battery in it. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say. Anyway, it's a um, waste of money. Then, uh, uh, and then after that, your eldest sister Sarah and her and her husband Ethan and their two kids, Cain uh, and Celia, enter. Um, all of them are wearing of a similar fashioned kind of a jacket um, that is not unlike Roberts, but more toned down uh your sister on the other hand wears a a very colorful uh dress that is this like bright red um with a tinted like pink uh ruffle um with the kind of ruffle, uh, the ruffles being both uh, serving as a purpose of both on the other side of the dress and uh, forming what is like the shoulder strap um, of the dress on both of her uh, shoulders. And uh, Sarah uh, is again kind of a, she, she is more of the slender style uh, build for, uh, and she is, she is, she doesn't have the, powerful build um that jess had but she does have this look about her of she'll mess you up if you if she gets if she gets the opportunity to um she looks very quick on her feet um despite and still having a powerful uh pack um John, you would know that she has a preference for using um, the rapier. Mm. So, very quick and agile. Um, Dex Paladin. Uh, huh? Dex Paladin. Yeah. Yeah, a fun, rare thing in that. Um, and then after that, you watch as your cousins enter. Uh, John, you watch your eldest cousin um Victor enter with uh his wife Alora and their four kids Henry, Sam, Taylor and Amber all above the age of 16 um again you guys notice a very similar pattern that they're wearing this black and gold uh, or black and silver kind of uh, suits the the women uh, tend to wear like either a red or like a bright blue or pink kind of a dress. <laughs> um, but Cuddy's for the gonna most... look down at her own robes. Mm -hmm. I feel you, like I you missed guys the memo. Probably well your your nice clothes are basically their casual clothing other than John because uh, <laughs> John is definitely an outlier. Um, mm. You see uh, your eldest uh, your eldest uh, cousins, your eldest female cousin Tiffany, enter. Um, followed behind. Are you gonna by, have breakfast at her place? I mean, if you want to go out with a forty-two-year-old named Tiffany, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more of the song. Mm -hmm, I know. Um, followed uh, by Michael, Zeke, Alexa, and Kevin. All of them kind of sit towards Alexa? the end of the table. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and everybody's everybody's Amazon thing just lit up. <laughs> Alexa, oh, play shit. Oh, shit, that's right. I forgot about that. 
Sorry, if you happen to have one, if you have an Alexa and are not wearing headphones. Um, Hi, Big <laughs> So, um, and then after that, you watch as your uncle and aunt enter. Uh, Charles and Megan enter and sit, kind of eye you and your your friends, kind of with this like look of like why and then sit down um megan sits beside you john and with your uncle on the other side of her okay um but then your parents enter you see your father uh finn enter with this again this same kind of jacket as um your your eldest brother uh tyler um, but this one is more of a, you can tell it's been worn more uh, than Tyler's has. And it has this, this um, almost like a, uh, a necklace that folds into the, into the design that kind of comes to the centerpiece, like where the, uh, solar plexus is um, of this gold, almost ivory gold chain that kind of drapes around the neck and bleeds into uh, basically the button in the middle of the, the jacket. And the rest of this, the rest of it is of this um, deep black with like this hint of like purple flakes in it. Um, your father and uncle, I want to mention, are older. They are about 70 and 71, respectively. Uh, your father being the older of the two. Uh oh. He woke up and realized I wasn't holding him. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, and then your mother walks in. Um, your mom, Ta, uh, you guys watch as following behind this small human man who stands no more than five foot 11. Um, he is built like he is pretty jacked for an older man. Um, and he's got this like mop of black hair on his head. Um, and Behind him walks this seven, almost eight foot tall uh, orc woman built like a brick shit house, and is wearing this almost blood red colored dress and it is a terrifying sight. It is like seeing a bodybuilder in a dress. <laughs> As your mother is a very strong individual. And you know, John, personally, that your mother has earned her place in the Visk family. Mm. She sits down kind of across from you and she, you got, you, they make eye contact with you, John, and they smile pleasantly. Um, and they turn to the head of the, the table. And you guys watch as from a door behind the head of the table that the... Uh, that <laughs> the, the current head of the family... Uh, your grandpa, elder in age, probably getting close to probably you, you. The last you remember, you know, you know. Last time you guys celebrated uh, one of his birthdays, it was in the ninety age range. That's been a couple of years, you think? And you watch as this. Almost ninety year old, ninety year plus year old man walks out of the door, and 
the only way that I can actually describe him is like a moderate, like if you were to find a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger today, is what this man basically looks like. He is a 90-year-old man who is still in great shape and walking unassisted without any issues to the table and sitting down. Uh, John, this is your grandfather, uh, Camulus Visk. And as he kind of sits, you watch as your your dad and your uncle kind of just father, almost in unison, and they kind of, uh, you know, kind of nod to him, and he just, uh, welcome. And he's got the, kind of this deep voice, and he kind of just goes, thank you for gathering. You, and he looks to you guys, are friends of John. John has made quite the impression on us in the last few years. You are welcome, and we're pleased to have you at this table. And he kind of sits as he kind of acknowledges you guys. And he kind of goes, and let's eat. And he kind of gestures a little to off to the side and you guys watch as dishes and dishes are brought and laid onto the table until the entire length of the table has been covered in <coughs> either a plate, a cup, or a platter of food. You guys, if you guys can imagine it, it is here. The food smells fantastic. And uh, we're gonna check some. Um, ah, right there. Okay. Um, you guys watch as every as the food is laid down in front of everybody. Uh, Camulus kind of raises his hands and kind of presses them together, um, palm to palm. And you watch as everybody around the table follows suit. What do you guys do? Uh, I'll fake it till I make it. It looks like a prayer, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. I do whatever I have to do. Okay. John, you would know that this is <laughs> your family prayer. Um, yeah. Do you partake in it? Or per persis participate? Um, I do, um, but more just for show, like not actually like... So half-heartedly, got it. Yes, yes. Okay. You guys kind of look and as everybody kind of you guys follow suit and as everybody's hands come together, um Camulus doesn't. Dinoc does not. <clears throat> he observes. Okay. Um you You would catch you kind of catch his eye, but he doesn't say anything. Uh again, this is Camulus. And he kind of goes uh I want to just make sure that I get this right for what for um okay okay he kind of just goes Peter thank you again for a blessed day this harvest as it feeds us and my family give it the strength for, give it have it give us our strength as we go forth to crush those when it is time and give a give it new life for those ouch sorry around us may your ways guide us forever 
and everybody at the table in unison basically goes, uh, "Amen." And you don't. And you watch. Be a little bit off in that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you you watch as like without hesitation, uh, basically, uh, Kevin, Alexa, Zeke, Michael. Uh, those three would not. Uh, Cam. Yeah, th those, those five, basically immediately dive into the food, grabbing what they view as the biggest portions of the f of their favorite. <laughs> and dinner happens, and conversation stirs within the the house and music begins to play kind of softly in the background um you guys kind of look up and you guys can actually see um um servants playing instruments in like a balcony area that is surrounding the the main dining hall here are they any good at it <laughs> yes. Depends on your it's taste in music. <laughs> it's very just calming and relaxing music as people are having dinner. Um, no, you, ne you never know. One of them could have a nat one. Yeah, well, I rolled a natural <laughs> 20, so they're fine. <laughs> DM says. Um, And as they're kind of eating, you kind of watch, uh, kind of catch the eye of uh, Tia. She's kind of looking at you, John, kind of proudly and kind of smiling as they, as everybody's eating. She nibbles at her food. Um, you know that she now, is she a full orc? Yes, she is. <laughs> Sorry if I did not oh. make that clear earlier. She is a full-blooded orc, standing anywhere from seven to eight plus feet tall, oh. Um, oh. which is also part of the reason why she is vastly jacked. I thought he was asking if she was using a fork. <laughs> oh, maybe I misheard. <laughs> no, oh, I no. said, is she a full orc? Ah, yeah, okay. either way. Okay. I'm heard right. Okay. So, yeah. She is a full-blooded orc. And she's nibbling at her food, basically. And, John, you know her to eat differently when she is in front of Camulus. Um... She still doesn't feel fully accepted by him, um, even though she has basically made the rest of the family accept her. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can also tell as you guys look around, especially you, Valinar, um, as you have the highest passive insight, um, most of the older people... Uh, Charles, Megan, Victor, Tiffany, uh, Tyler, Robert, and Sarah, too, have a weird, like, a weird kind of relationship with her. Um, everybody but Sarah, Robert, and Tyler basically would, would, like, have this distaste for her, um... Whereas, like, Sarah, Robert, and Tyler are kind of like, you're not our mom, but we accept you because we know how fucking monstrosity of a fighter you are, basically. <laughs> so, because, and John, John knows this as well. Strength in this family will go a long way. Oh, John, I see where you got your shockingly good looks from. <clears throat> um, I was going to say muscle. <laughs> I just Finn nod my head and keep quietly eating. 
Captain kind of peek, pikes up and and kind of goes, I know he got to, he got the right sport fighting ship from us. That he did. And it has saved ta us all ta many ta a time. Tog, on the other hand, kind of goes, we we know he's an excellent fighter and that he is can be a bit um, brutish, if you would. But, uh, John, who are your friends? Um, so... Definitely not doors. <laughs> what? What? She looks at you confused. Whatever do you mean? Oh, yeah. John has a thing for, um... Breaking doors. No, 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 no. Destroying <laughs> boundaries. I, 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 I put my head over back. I, I honestly <laughs> thought he said dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dwarves kicking dwarves. Actually, hold up. What did they say? Also cast command on Katya. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh oh. Uh, I believe that's a wisdom saving throw, Katya. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, what's the DC? Roll and we'll tell you. <laughs> oh right, uh, thirteen. Oh, I don't know if that'll make it or not. What's your uh, save, John? Thirteen. Oh, oh, you just oh. made it! Dang it. <laughs> I said... My name is Catherine, and... John has been very... instrumental in our... ventures as of late. Okay, as of late. like... Catherine? <laughs> As of late, yes. do you plan on having Catherine. more adventures? Well, why would the fun stop here? Well, you've already, you know, done a great job at saving uh, this, well, island, if you will, f from a potential demon incursion, thanks to your group of adventures, our, and my son, she kind of says with a smile, we were able to get notification soon enough and able to protect the city leaders and vanquish those devils. Dinoc raises an eyebrow ridge and says, and you think that's it? You think that's the end of it? Question, question for Rip. Mm -hmm. Do they know about the expedition or the other islands or anything? Uh, or is that kept have, on the down low? You guys have not told anyone, really. Like, there's there's been like an advertisement of it, uh, but you guys aren't like going to like the rich district and being like, "Hey, do you guys want to uproot your lives? Go live in a cramped castle <laughs> for who knows how long to start a new life in a in a land that you'll be nothing but a peasant." <laughs> yeah, Never there's no the purpose of that. Good luck. <laughs> By the way, I just realized that I did mix my characters and I said my other character's name. Oops. Oh? I didn't hear that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said Dinoc. We're just gonna let it roll. Anyway. Uh, um Yeah. Wherever evil may show its ugly face, we will be there. Because evil is afoot. Make a charisma oh. check, I guess. Charisma check? Charisma check. Bloop. Seven? <laughs> oh my oh, lord. <laughs> I, I've been <laughs> dipping into that wine. <laughs> <laughs> your your, your so. mom, uh, Ta kind of leans over and kind of goes, I like this one, John. She is funny. I kind of <laughs> slip out of my chair as I, as I, you know, I 
I stood up all triumphant. Evil is a foot, and then like slip. <laughs> That's some good you get wine. Some, you get some You're not laughs. used to this body anymore. Shh! Keep it down! <laughs> By the way, that wasn't Dinox saying that. That was me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> so, you guys wine and dine for a little while. Um... Uh, Katya, you will have to sneak off to go cast your spell again. Um, probably about this uh -oh. point or so. Yeah. Um, so oh, let's I go ahead. Need to use the ladies' room. <laughs> well, Bala tries to delay Katya as long as he can. <laughs> let me go, you heathenous swine! <laughs> Please let her go to the bathroom. <laughs> um, I'll piss on you. <clears throat> you. <laughs> Okay. I, rolled really I rolled really high for that. Uh, you watch as uh, Ta kind of goes, oh, I actually need to use the restroom myself. Come, I will accompany you. And she kind of stands. Um, <laughs> I... She takes like two steps and like looks back at you. Well, oh, are you coming or not? Oh, oh. Okay. As, as Katya gets up next to her, I must warn you, though, sometimes I can really rip up a bathroom. <laughs> you were talking to an orc. I didn't even know what the bathroom was until I came here. Well, this is about to be very I, interesting, then. I face Bob when my mom oh, yes. says that, like, so embarrassed. <laughs> well, By the way, like, I... You I was trying to keep it on the dowel, though, but... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, She wasn't saying it very loud. Um, oh, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Katia... Katia would have heard and maybe, like, a couple of other people, but it wouldn't have been any surprise to them. It would have been, like, Charles and Victor. <laughs> okay. I didn't know so... how close or far they had gotten. No, no, no. Okay. Um. Then never mind, I just keep eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I I have to interject here real quick. Yeah, go for it. Um, has anyone said anything about the skeleton of a minotaur <laughs> standing, just standing behind your chair, all menacing? Like, <laughs> no, 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 he's actually several paces back. He's like near my position, but mm. against the wall. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Rip is having baby issues. Please wait. Um, sorry. He's just really fussy right now. Um, as you can clearly tell. Um, <laughs> I think what we will do is. Uh, well, it depends on where your skeleton is standing. Is he, like, standing, like, way off to the back of the room, kind of? Or is he, like, genuinely, like, sort of kind of up on you? Um, how far away is the wall from behind me? Mm, maybe 15, 20 feet? Yeah, he's right about there, like, behind me, you know, against the wall. Gotcha, okay. Um, yeah, we'll bring that up in a minute. I think what we're going to do right now, though, is we're going to take a really quick break, and we're going to come back with, uh, and talk with, walk through how Katya is going to <laughs> use the restroom with Ta and Toe. Uh, so, I'm going to, uh, be... at least, at least I won't get lost all the way this time. This is true. <laughs> uh, so guys, we will be back in just a few short minutes. This is gonna be awkward as hell. <laughs>